It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. In the back. Run the Masters OMC. Greg, you, at, as soon as the race was over, um, you had said, where's my official? Can you kind of take us through that conversation a little bit? Well, I, I just uh, I just wanted to make sure he called up there, and it, 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 you know I'm I'm quite certain that, that whether I asked or not, they were they saw the same thing I did. I just you know from, from my peace of mind, I needed I wanted to hear him call up there and, and, and ask if, if if they had changed the rule or you know has everything still stood. And and as I was asking him that, I heard in in in, in my radio twenty twenty to victory lane. So um, you know I, I think actually before he could even call up there, they had made the call. Any other questions downstairs? <clears throat> right over here. Kristen Vallis for FoxSports.com. Zippy, what, why were you fighting so hard to keep the primary car on Friday? And obviously it worked out well for you. Can you tell us a little bit about your concerns about the front end and, and why you fought so hard to fix that car? Well, it was a brand new car we built for here. It was a um, basically a, a, a twin of the car we had here in the spring. and, and um, let all those laps and felt like we had a car capable of winning, um, and and I just we knew that car we had practiced it we had drafted with it the the tune up um, you know the ear box on these cars are so finicky um, we had tried a few things um, the car responded to it I didn't feel that we did uh, we had any damage to the car that would that would hurt it in the way that it would it would drive and suck up the important thing the hood the front fascia um, was was all intact we only had a little work on the right front fender and and, and the rest of it was all in the back so. Um, I just I felt like that was our best shot. You know, it had our best motor in it, and, and um, we put all our effort in that car. Right over here. Hey, Greg. Uh, Doug Turnbull, WSB Radio. Um, uh, obviously, there are several issues with uh, right side tires, not only during this race today, but throughout the other two races this weekend. Uh, other drivers uh, have been concerned and haven't been. What was your take as a crew chief, and did you notice anything on your car that could have possibly led to a tire problem later on when you took the tires off? No, our, our tires... Um, our tires looked great all day, but but so did everybody else's that, that came off and had some cuts in them. Um, you know, we had it happen to us in the, in the spring. We were, we were leading the race and cut a right front tire. Um, we just didn't we just didn't uh, we didn't get in the wall really hard, um, and it just got us behind. And then we got in that in, in that later wreck. So we we lost a tire in the spring and really don't have any explanation on why it, it happened. Um, obviously, there was there there was something with. It. There's, there was debris on the racetrack that was cutting them. Um, I, don't, I don't really know. I don't think anybody really has a great explanation because it, it wasn't aware. It, it certainly didn't seem like a, a heat issue, um, but, but a lot of them lost air. We're going to welcome the winner of today's Amp Energy 500, Tony Stewart. Yeah. Tony, drive the number 20 Subway <laughs> Home Depot uh, Toyota. Tony, take us through the race today and your big victory here at Talladega. Well, I mean, obviously the only one, the only... Uh, the lap that everybody wants to know about is that last one, really, I think. And uh, we, we got a good restart there and, and just made sure that we didn't get out too far to where, uh, you know, we didn't get a big gap to where they could get a run on us. And uh, coming off a of two on the last lap, we got right to the bumper and, and, man, gave us a great push down the back stretch. And I thought if we could stay, if I could keep him glued to the bumper like that, uh, that we had a shot, you know, at just cruising on and getting the two of us getting away from everybody. But when he came off the bumper in the center of the corner, I thought, oh, this is bad news because we were gonna, we were gonna get that gap in there that we didn't want. And uh, so I saw the run coming, and uh, you know, I, I made a counter move early enough to to get him committed to one direction, and I got back down to the line quick. So, uh, um, man, I mean, it's it's a tough position to be in when you're the first guy. It's a tough position when you're the second guy, but. Uh, you know, we were able to, to finally get that first win here at Talladega. That's uh, uh, there's only three of them left that we haven't won at now, and like Joe said, it's 33 in 10 years for for this group up sitting up here, and it's something that we're all very proud of. Are there any other questions for Crew Chief Greg Zipidelli or Joe Gibbs or JD Gibbs? Okay, we're we're going to release those three. Me. Have fun. Thank you. Thanks. You said a lot of nasty <laughs> things about you. So I have no me. doubt. If you have any questions for Tony Stewart, please raise your hands. We'll bring a wireless mic. We'll start right over there. Rick Flafford, Fox Sports Radio. Tony, I've watched the race a long time, went on dirt, asphalt, whatever it is with wheels on it, uh, probably even the tricycle back in Columbus. But how big is this? And, and to do it the way you're doing it, 
you know, you, your tenure here is over. You're headed towards something really great. I saw you this morning. You looked, shook your hand. You had a look of peace on your face. To me, this is awesome. I'm not supposed to be a fan, but I am. <laughs> Congratulations. Can you kind of address what you're going through with the oh, transition and how big this is? You know, obviously the, the last 12 months, uh, you know, we've struggled trying to figure out what we've been missing and what, to, what we need to get in victory lane. And uh, it's just been one of those years that, you know, we've just had bad luck all season. We should have won Charlotte. We should have been in a position to win Bristol. There were four or five shots that we had at, at winning races this year, and something happens at some point in the race that is just bad luck and stuff that's never happened. So, um, man, to finally, you know, get that first one of the year, but to do it here at Talladega, I mean, it's people don't understand what that means to win here. It, it, you know, winning the nationwide race this year was huge to me, and, and now winning the cup race. And somebody's going to lose their vocal cords outside over it. That's how happy they are. So, um, but it's man, it's just an awesome feeling to finally win here. I mean, we we you know been. I talked to Red Farmer on the phone, and the funny part about talking to Red was he was talking, and he thought he was talking to the guy that handed me the phone. And I said, "How's that? And he, Will that work?" And he didn't know even know what he's going to go tell Tony. And I said, "You are talking to him." He goes, "What?" He can't hear a daggone thing. So uh, you know, even he was as, as excited as we were. So. Uh, uh, man, it's just finally we, we got ourselves in victory lane here. Ah, the rats are coming for the cheese now. Glad to see you two can make it. We're going to take two All questions. All the controversial stuff must have been outside the garage. We'll take two questions in the press box.